Let's go over assessment and dressing of a wound. First, let's talk about measuring. Length is measured by the greatest distance up and down, and width is measured by the greatest distance laterally. For depth, you wanna use a cotton-tipped applicator to push gently into the deepest area of the wound and then measure how much of the applicator was in the wound. Gently probe around the surface of the wound. Is there undermining or tunneling where the wound burrows under the skin? If so, use the cotton tip applicator to measure that depth. You'll describe its location in the wound like a clock. You might say it's undermining from 10 o'clock to to two o'clock. You can also describe tunneling by saying there is a three centimeter tunnel at seven o'clock. Now, how does the wound look? Is it mainly healthy? Is it beefy red, granulation tissue? Are there signs of infection? And is there drainage or an odor? Note any improvement or worsening of the wound. You'll need to document all of these in your assessment. All right, now let's dress the wound. Refer to your facility protocol to determine if this will be a clean, no touch technique or a sterile technique dressing change. You want to perform hand hygiene again and remove all dirty gloves and gauze. Get your supplies ready by opening what you'll need and pouring a small amount of sterile saline into a rolled gauze. If your facility does not require sterile gloves, use a no touch technique and don't touch the wound bed with your hands. You can squeeze the excess saline from the roll and unroll a small amount of gauze. Using a cotton tipped applicator, gently push the rolled gauze around the wound bed and into any tunneled or undermined areas. Slowly unroll the gauze and push with the applicator into the wound bed until it's filled. You can cut off any remaining gauze. Be careful not to have wet gauze on any healthy tissue around the wound. We want the wound to be moist but not the surrounding tissue. This can cause healthy tissue to break down. Now cover the packed area with an abdominal pad and use tape to secure it in place. Using a permanent marker, label your dressing with the date, time, and your initials. Make sure to always document your assessment and dressing change. Can you name a dressing type we would use if there was a high drainage amount from this wound with no tunneling? Let me know in the comments. Happy studying future nurses.